Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so a few years ago, I made a um, polenta board for my brother-in-law. And uh, when they make polenta, they have this tradition. They have this spoon. It's a wooden spoon, kind of a paddle thing where they mix the polenta. It takes a while to cook and everybody that's there has to take a turn stirring the polenta. So I made the board, but I didn't make the paddle. He has one, but he's going to get another one. Anyway, so I challenged Ryan. Hello. Neither one of us have ever made a spoon or a paddle or anything else before. So we're going to give it a shot. Ryan's felt a paddle. Ryan's right. felt yes. one, yes. Yeah. A timer or two. Bring him back some I serious... can't make a belt. I know he's got the belt. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, I, my sister actually traced... Uh, there it is. Traced the paddle that he has and sent me this and I cut it out and I used that uh, spray on adhesive and put it on there and Ryan is going to use the bandsaw because it scares the bejeebers out of me. So Ryan has cut, well I'll let you tell what you did there. Well this was mom's idea and I remember last time I used a, well other than the last month, the last time I used a bandsaw was probably high school woodshop class. And I completely forgot about the relief cuts, so mom reminded me. So I made probably too many relief cuts. You know, I don't think it needs this many, but this this is really This is hard maple. Stuff. Maple. Maple. This right? Pecan. Oh, excuse me. I knew it was a nut yeah. <laughs> or a thing. I was gonna say. Anyway, maple's not really a nut. You're like a it's farmer. It's pecan. <laughs> So this is actually pecan wood. It's very hard, but that's kind of why I picked it. I thought it would make a good uh, paddle. Yeah. So yeah. So I dropped the uh, thing down to about a half an inch, eh, maybe three quarters of an inch above the board. I remember remember my woodshop teacher getting mad at me for not doing that. So I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. But again, not much bandsaw experience. So, so uh, why the relief cuts? Uh, because the way this thing's curved here, which there's no tight curves, they're all real gradual, but because it's such a hard board that when I turn this way, I don't want to put too much pressure on that blade to twist. I want to keep it as straight as possible. And the more the relief cut, well, not really the more, but especially, you see, I put quite a few on this because this is the sharpest turn in the whole thing. So I just want to make sure that I don't put too much pressure on that blade as I'm turning the wood uh, and get it to twist and then it can throw it off track and that's when bad stuff happens. So, okay, here we okay. go. Here we finish this off camera um, so that he can get all that done and then we're going to do some power carving we're going to yeah. do some sanding we're going to do a lot of sanding, we're gonna be, do a lot of sanding. yeah um, so um, after he gets done with this we'll be back over on the patio so keep watching okay so Ryan got these boards kind of trimmed up a little bit now we're going to use the oscillating spindle sander very nice <laughs> Very nice. Ooh. Ooh, ah. So I'm going to do mine, and then Ryan's going to do his. And while he works on his, then I'll go over there to the um, Fordham and play with that. So anyway, OK, I've never used one of these before. So here we go. Power tools. <laughs>
Okay, so we decided to try to pick this up a little bit and make it a little bit easier. So we came out to the belt sander with the disc sander here on it. Is that what that's called? Disc sander? Disc. Yeah. 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 Um, and trying to take this off, I think it's going to be a little bit faster and you're not going to get those bumps. Yeah. Those like little bump things there. So this is going to be loud, so bear with me. Hey, yeah, would you? Okay. People. <laughs> Now the fun part, we get to use the Fordham. Now this is, I believe this is a medium coarse uh, bull nose, bull nose. Yeah. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'll figure out something. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, for all of you that are saying, well, can't you just do that with a round over with the router? You probably could, but I don't use routers. So, and I love this thing. So, um, I don't know. I'm just going to keep playing with it. I have no clue what I'm going to do, but I know I want to round this all over. And I think I want to take this thinner a little bit. The paddle part of it? The paddle part of it. Um, I know what I'm going to do. Ha. We kind of talked about this a little bit. I'm going to put just a little scoop in it. I 
I don't know why. Oh, you're kind of cool. Anyway, something similar to that. I want this to come up a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Smart. I'm so smart. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. In theory. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So I'm just going to work on this a little bit and then, um, I don't know, I'll set it aside and we'll get Ryan over here to see what Ryan's going to do. So we'll be back. Oh, by the way, we are not professionals. We are hacks, literally, at this, but we just thought it would be fun to do a challenge. And um, so bear with us. Again, I'm sure there are people who know a lot more about this. I know there are than we do, but we're just having a good time. So thanks for watching. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay, guys. So now it's my turn to try to form my paddle. And uh, I'm going to do kind of pretty much the same thing mom did, just way better. <laughs> way better. <laughs> But yeah, I just want to round these edges off, make it, you know, comfortable to, to use, I guess. And then I don't know if I'm going to do the scoop in there yet, but let's find out. So I'm going to fool around with this thing for a while and see if I can't come up with something. This is not my forte, but it's a lot of fun. This is what we need to do. What? Is have Dad start filming. You do, once we get this part done, you do something and I'll do something and then put it together. And... Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. All right. So we're going to get this done and then, uh, <clears throat> or work on it and come back when we figure out something creative to do with them. <laughs> So, I've been thinking, and my hand is not steady enough to use that the, uh, the um, Fordham on this. So, I came out here, and I've been working on the belt sander, and I want to show you what I'm doing. I'm cheating, going faster. All right, anyway, So, you want to turn that on? Oh, yeah. Please. 
So I am rounding this and shaping this with the belt sander because it's just much faster, much easier. So, okay, here we go. thing but um sure looks, makes it much easier I so it looks pretty awesome anyway so we're gonna keep working on it i'm not sure what ryan's gonna do probably copy mama because he's a mama's boy that's exactly <laughs> it and then we're gonna put some extra extra pretties on here so but that's kind of the secret because ryan will be doing his and i will be doing mine and we All won't right. show each other until we're done so anyway guys um i'm gonna continue on with this and then we'll come back and ryan will show you what he's gonna do Alright guys, so mom's over there working on her girl spoon and we're doing a man paddle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some cross stitch, or cross stitch, not cross stitch, not, cr not cross stitch, cross hatching. And, um, yeah, you say that now that you think I can't hear you. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know you can hear me. I see you over there. Um, because I want this thing to have a good grip on it. Because if you're, let's say you're making polenta and someone breaks in, you want to make sure to have a good grip if this is all you got in your hands. So that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to do a little bit of it and then uh, see how it looks. Plenty of grip in case you need to swing. That looks awesome. Looks like it was carved with a knife you just used to pick your teeth. 
that's what we're looking for right there all right so i got to do the other side and then i got to carve my i wanted the scoop in here too for practical uses but we're not doing no dumb oval we're doing it the shape of a knife so this thing's going to be awesome yeah a dumb oval what is this an egg paddle okay i'll be we'll be back Okay guys, so now it's time for the big reveal. Ooh. So Ryan did his thing, I did my thing, and now I, I haven't seen his and he hasn't seen mine. It's been kind of she's fun. She's been trying, she's been trying to cheat. Whatever. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna reveal, but we're also gonna coat them with this Odie's oil. Um, and I did some research and Odie's is food safe, solvent free, non-toxic wood finish and stabilizer. So it's for, it waterproofs, gives it a lustrous stream in one coat, and also perfect finish for leather, concrete, plastic, vinyl, and metal. I just kind of picked that up. All right. So, let's see it, big boy. All right, ready? Bam! <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. Yeah. Ooh. See, Mom put it. I can't open it. Mom put a scoop in hers, which I'm pretty sure was my idea. So I couldn't do one. Ah, what? So I made mine a knife. Mine Can looks I... like it was made by a super freaking awesome, attractive short Viking. Because it was. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see your girl spoon. All right. My girl spoon. So I went with a simpler thing. And of course, you know me with my resin. I went with... The little eternity sign, which Eric did carve for me because I don't carve. Oh, bringing in the ringer. Bringing in the <laughs> ringer, see? That looks really nice. With a little scoop, yeah. So it's pretty simple, not as dramatic, which again, I don't carve. So anyway, so now we're going to put uh, oil oh, on. That was a good idea. Mm -hmm. I like that. See? The one thing about this is basically I made it as uh, a. Um, polenta spoon and the tradition with the polenta spoon is they hand them down for generations and generations so i thought that eternity thing would be perfect yeah yeah so okay let's put some oil uh -huh. spoons get handed down the along spoons with the boards, huh? yeah huh? well here you do I it first open. oh here i know when we were uh, coming over in california uh, your sister made the polenta mm -hmm. and uh, everybody in the house took had to turn, take a turn it, it has to be stirred con Continuously, because yeah. it gets for really like, thick. Uh, for like seven hours or something. <laughs> That's what it seemed like. Yeah. That's just because you were hungry. Yeah. yeah. That's right. All right. So. That does give it a nice shine. Yeah. So you just put it on. You leave it set for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or something like that. Okay. And then you buff it off. So, but I'm not going to wait that long for camera purposes. You, you buff it off? You buff it off. Okay. Yeah. So using using one of these. Just oh, one okay. Of these. I thought you meant like a buffer. No, no, no. You just give it some time to soak in. Oh, kind of like shining shoes. I don't know. I've never shined shoes. You never shine shoes. No. All right. All right. So there you go. And mom's not wearing gloves because she's I'm not a, a little girl. <laughs> Did you shine shoes? Uh, were you a little shoe shine boy? <laughs> no, when I was in ROTC, God. if ours if our boots weren't shiny, top would freaking lose it. Man. Yours really has a nice uh, every different grain. Yeah, green. Although it, it's the it same board. Cut out of exactly the same board. Ryan picked his first, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> So That's now, really your little hand. Yeah, you got to get it down in there. So, God, you're such a girl. Put some stuff on there. Oh, you almost said a cuss word. So that does make it a little. I thought we were spraying it. No. Okay. But still, that yeah. really looks cool, though. You did a good job on that. Thanks, Mom. I wanted mine to be used as a weapon, if need be. He wants to use his as a paddle. Yes. I have a teenage daughter and she needs to get whooped on as much as possible. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be happy to hear that. And maybe yeah. it's more legal that you whoop her with that kind of a knife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take the knife to her. Yeah, that really, really came out nice. And I, we sanded them from, um, I think we did, 
We started sanding them with like an 80 and then went to 220, 320, 400, and a 600. So. Now why, is that just It just gives polish? it a smoother, you know, finish rather than a, any kind of rough pores. But is that necessary for, for the polish to kind of take hold? Like, is that necessary for the food aspect? I don't think things? so. I just okay. think it gives it a better finish. Okay. I could what be wrong. What do you mean as far as putting the oil on the wood? No, the sanding it down. Yeah, sanding, sanding it down, down that far. Because I didn't, I liked mine better before I sanded it with all that stuff. Just because it was rougher and that's the look I was going for. But that's all right. So I've got oil on my hands. I might as well make use of it. Sorry. All right. I'm going to have to, this is going to take some time to get those. Those cracks right there. You want there. a little... Uh, Crooks and nannies. You want a little... Uh, like a toothbrush or something. Oh. Like a, like a little paintbrush thing? Yeah, oh, there you go. that's a good idea. Paintbrushes? Oh, that's enough. Oh, that's enough. Okay. Yeah, you got plenty there. Okay. Nice catch. Dang. It's like Randy Moss over here. Who? <laughs> anyway, guys, um, we had a good time doing this. We did. It was this fun. was, I think, we've never done a video. I don't think we have. Before, no. So this was something new, something different, and I think it came out really nice. I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with both of you guys. It's yeah. I know. Real. I was like. I don't have any desire to do spoons. Pretty I do, and I, I want to do me. more. Um, yeah, those are freaking cool. I wouldn't mind making, like, a, um, I was thinking about it earlier, like a whole barbecue set like this. Yeah, you could do that. Just a big old massive fork, and that would be your secondary weapon. <laughs> yeah. My son always thinking weapons. Two-handed. Yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. One in each hand. Going, what, what do they call that? Akimbo? Barbecue Ninja. Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you liked it. Um, we'd love to hear your feedback. Again, we're not professional spoon makers. <laughs> Eric's laughing back there. Um, but um, we did have fun doing it. So we did. This was this is a fun little project just yeah. to kind of play around. So with. what kind of wood was it again? This is. Pecan. pecan pecan wood yeah so it is a hard wood which is exactly what i wanted and it it does have a really nice grain ryan's grain is a little better than mine but that's all right oh, spoon too Ooh, just different the spoon yeah the spoon too yeah whatever anyway guys thanks for watching um keep watching we'll be coming up with something else i don't know what but yeah well, let me get a close-up Anyway, Ryan did a great job. I really do like the handle. I think I'm going to have to come up with something on that. Look at me. Sorry, Brian. No, that's all right. You. I just saw some that you, you yeah, at like the angle. Yeah. Full. Yeah, at the angle you were at. Um, I don't think you could see. So. I could. I'm just lazy. <laughs> It'll soak in. What doesn't soak in? What we'll do is we'll let these set for a little while, and then we'll buff them out. I don't know. You don't, I don't think you have to really do a second coat, but I think it might be a good idea. Okay. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked it. Um, it was fun. It was fun. And I won. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Well, you know what we should do? We should auction them off and see who sells for more. No. That's anyway. the real. We should have a vote. Comment, yeah. Comment on this yes. video. Comment. Ryan's or Vicky's. And what and are they going to win if they... They're not winning nothing. They're, oh. just, yeah. <laughs> they're just giving me yeah. the satisfaction of knowing that I won. No. You know what? I don't like the uh -oh. comment. There's uh -oh. some, there will definitely... It'll be a popularity contest. Well, <laughs> yeah. With prom queen. Anyway. <laughs> no, I think we ought to do this. Yeah. Comment. Yeah. Comment. comment yeah. Who's video. you like better? And Who's we'll, you like better? We'll let yeah. you know on the Friday Night Live or whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Now, this has nothing to do with it, but Ryan is the one that really checks all the comments these days. So, yeah. so I check them so four or five times a day. Get deleted. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, send them to Ryan. Ryan at Make It Wood Sign. No, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan with, with Dave, Dave Signs, signs at gmail.com. Yeah. Sorry. 
Uh, if you need any of these supplies, if you don't have them, <laughs> I got the uh, Odie's oil on Amazon. Um, anyway, this is in our store. We is it? Got the Odie's I don't oil know. In store. We should. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.